hi everyone welcome to gs cafe and in today's video we are going to solve another interesting problem that is to create a currying function that can return the sum of the previous value without wasting any time get started so um, in this currying function basically uh, what you need to do uh, we have already discussed what a curry function is uh, in the previous video if you haven't checked out the previous video then uh, do check uh, the video and uh, then come to this question okay so in this um, question what we need to do is we need to create a curry function okay <clears throat> that would again return a function and we store that particular function in sum so now we have to call this uh, sum function with uh, different types of arg different arguments one three three four for example and now what need to happen is that 1 plus 3 becomes 4, 4 plus 3 becomes 7 and 7 plus 4 becomes 11 and in the last function called since we haven't given anything this would become uh, 11 as it is. So this is what the function should return uh, ideally it should return the sum of the previous value take okay, sum of the uh, previous value plus the value that has been provided in the current argument if, if nothing has been provided that means you have to add 0 at that place. So this is what we have to achieve we have to write a currying function that can return the sum of the previous values so without wasting any time uh, let's uh, deep dive into the code so in this part uh, what needs to happen is um, i'll return first of all i'll create a value okay uh, let uh, previous sum equals to zero that would basically store all the previous calculations okay and now since uh, we have to return uh, another uh, closer function so uh, i'll just return uh, a function okay so we'll we'll utilize uh, the concepts of closures over here and this would um, accept new value okay and i what i need to do is i need to increase uh, the previous sum with new value and all I need to do is to return uh, this previous sum. Okay, fine. Now let's clear this and try to run. Okay, so so I got one, four, uh, seven, and eleven at the last. I got n n because I haven't provided anything um, into the uh, arguments, and it was expecting something. So I just need to give a default value over here. If nothing is provided and take it as zero and here we go i'll uh, i'll have one four seven eleven and eleven this is what was expected so curry function uh when i call this curry function that returned me a function i store that function in sum so this is a closure because it has uh, access to va values of this previous sum also and this previous sum may uh i have initially zero now whenever whenever i call sum one so this function was called with uh, argument as one so previous value was zero new value was one so previous value becomes one next i called it with three so previous value was one and the new value was three one plus three becomes four and i return four over here and this is how the chain goes on <coughs> so this was a pretty simple question and if you have any queries or any doubts uh, do let me know in the comments i'll address them and um, if you find this video really helpful then hit do hit the like button and share this video with your friends and this was all in this video uh, take care see you in the next one